Take a look at this beautiful boy. Come on in here. Awesome moment. Where is my mother? <laughs> Trophy shad? They're very, very... Whoa, is that a duck? Go ahead, let this adorable baby boy bite my face for views. Might even fart on him. Hello there. I'm not going to be fighting Kevin for an hour. These guys are very happy out here. People like this make me sick. I have never seen this kind of behavior. Tonight, I'm going to go out and catch every kind of animal I can with my hand. Oh, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another amazing urban rescue. <gasps> Amogus from Impostor is attacking my cappy bappies. Looks like it's time to put on some Big Al Downing and get this sicko. Also, guys, I filled this up at 11 p.m. last night. Look how much poop's already in it. Old Uncle Ben ain't complaining because I can finally wear my sweatpants again. That's right. It's a nice cool morning here in Wacho, Texas. We're in another drought, as you can see, but I'm going to start watering the grass over here for these guys. And I'm going to start by refilling this water. These guys are very happy out here, and they have plenty of fresh food and water available at all. All time. Also, I got these new dad shoes at Academy and look at these birds. Tonight, I'm going to turn on the sprinkler system for the first time and program it. But boy, do I have a big video for you guys today. I am not going to be fighting Kevin for an hour. No, today we're going to be rescuing a little baby kitten, another one. We just keep finding them for some reason. And we're going to catch a beaver. That's right. Tonight, I'm going to attempt to catch a beaver by hand. Something that good old Uncle Ben has done with a lot of other species of animals and has wanted to do with a beaver for forever. Kevin, if you don't let me feed these things ain't nothing gonna get fed oh kevin loves his alfalfa pellets get back all the rat tights are getting nice and large pretty soon we're gonna move them into the back where there's a little bit more fresh grass with the sprinkler Whee! good friend of ours don't eat enough sweet feed for us to last the rest of the year and i'm also mixing corn in with their diet a little bit too to get them a little fat and just about everything here loves corn cringe <laughs> the piglets are thriving as you can see they're very very whoa is that a duck look how cute these babies are and when i thought that one of our i am chamani chickens died hey good morning kanye turns out she was actually just giving birth oh now we have four more adorable mouths to feed that's it for now whoa is that hit rapper and artist a baby oh, i'm sick of you tonight i'm gonna go out and catch every kind of animal I can with my hand. That's right, you guys. We're going to try and catch every kind of animal we can with our hands today. And if we're lucky, we'll have some great content to show you. You know what that means, guys. Time for a staycation. <laughs> also, look at how our little call duck made a nest right here. Just vibing right here with her little nest. Godspeed, little child. Awesome moment. And look at this den that they've made. Okay, guys, we're back. Take a look at this. You see here on these trees, they put this fencing here so the beavers and the nutria don't chew it all. Last night we saw five baby nutrias, all right? And legally we can just take them and keep them as pets. Those I got 40 pounds of sweet potatoes so we can just start chumming the water here. As you can see, they have to do this on every tree or else all of the trees will die. And they will die. There's a few of them around here that have been stripped of their bark still even with metal. We're just gonna go ahead and toss this all over the place around here. Fishing break. Whoa, is that what I think it is? Whoa, is that a trophy shad? I think I see another one. <laughs> yep, this is a long ear sunfish. Take a look at how beautiful this fish is. Well, 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 if it isn't the person feeding all the cats outside the law school. Proof of them committing animal neglect because she's not spaying and microchipping them and bringing them into her home, which is what you're legally supposed to do. People like this make me sick. She thinks she's providing for these animals when in reality she's just propagating invasive cats and prolonging their starvation. And there's a raccoon right there, so you know she's also feeding the wildlife. We would never do that in the same video. There's literally three tame raccoons right Right here and they all just kind of hang out with the cats and they're friends with them that cat is just vibing with these raccoons don't mind if i do what are you doing son get back here <laughs> don't mind if i do as you can see this woman leaves out a bunch of cat food right here and it's feeding the wildlife which is also really discouraged by parks and wildlife and there's my buddy with a raccoon right in front of him you would not see this from a wild raccoon i have literally never seen raccoons this friendly ever in my life in fact these things might have actually been released here never been able to get this close to a wild raccoon look at this I'll take a little look at this now this is not someone's pet this is literally a wild raccoon that is so food driven that it doesn't care that i'm shoving a camera right in front of its face chances are if i grab this thing it would probably attack me or try and bite look at what that one just went right back in there i have never seen this kind of behavior from just a random wild raccoon that's insane look how this man's just laying down here just absolute bonkers these cats are literally more scared 
scared of us than this just random wild raccoon sitting here. Okay, I see an adorable little snake. Don't do this at home, kids. I am a trained wildlife professional. Take a look at this. Gotcha, gotcha. Hello there, son. For poisonous? No, these ones are not venomous. This is a diamondback water snake. As you can see, these guys are very cute and friendly. They don't mind me grabbing them. Go ahead and let this adorable baby boy bite my face for views on the YouTube. Just kidding, son. Ew, <laughs> almost got me there. Oh, hello there, adorable turtle. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> this is a northern river cooter. They're very common here as well. I'm gonna go ahead and let this little boy go because he's boring. Look at these cringe uh -uh blue jays just sitting here Sleep. This is what they do whenever they're not doing anything. Okay, guys, we're in downtown Waco, and I think I see a beaver that I can hand catch for you, so stay tuned. <laughs> okay, it looks like I was able to catch this beaver for you guys. Take a look at this. We're going to do a beaver creature feature. Skip it about We're going to do a beaver creature feature today, because this is what I was able to get for you guys. Say thank you in the comments, please. Say thank you, Uncle Ben, for getting us a beaver so we can learn about it. I have been trying to do this for years now. It's not easy at all. As you can see, this is a beaver. They're very common here, very strong, but they're also a nuisance. They chew on all the trees. So the city has to put fencing on every tree within 50 yards of the river. And we are right here in downtown Waco. This is legal, by the way. I have my fur bearing permit, but it doesn't say anything about hand catching them. And that's what I'm doing. I'm hand catching them. But take a look at this beautiful boy. Come on in here. Okay, you guys, the reason why I did this was because I've been trying to hand catch a beaver for years now. They're very cute, but they are also a nuisance. And I do have my fur bearing permit. I'm not going to collect this boy, but I do want to show you guys them. They they are very, very big, powerful rodents, and they use these big teeth that they have to bite people. They are herbivores, and they use their teeth to eat mostly wood, bark, and soft vegetation. And because of the insane microbiome in their gut, they're able to digest wood and bark and other insanely hard to digest materials. They have this nice big tail here. And the tails are used for swimming and self-defense, but it's the main way we can see that this is a beaver and not a nutria. Big, beautiful chompers. Look how crazy this skull is. These teeth are actually designed to sharpen with the more wood that they eat. Take a look at this guys this is a beaver they're very cute and adorable they're just like capybaras only a little bit more cringe the beaver swam off while the video wasn't rolling so here's a little jpeg for you guys there's an armadillo over here we also saw this armadillo and i tried running after it but i couldn't get it look at cringe ah uh, the baby just sitting there he's trying to get in that dog food okie dokie i guess it's kitten season again my buddy sean from yox2 reptiles we've made videos with him found this little guy in his yard i looked around for a while i couldn't find its mom been meowing for a while it looks like it's kind of hungry just figured the more the merrier i suppose i'm gonna go ahead and take care of this little guy it's probably about four or five weeks old uh so it's getting to weaning age so it's not gonna be too hard i'm gonna give it wet food mixed with kitten milk replacement and i'm gonna try and wean it but till then, we'll enjoy having this little fella's company. I'm gonna keep him separated from the other kitten for now. Look at this cringe ah boy in this little shoe box. Cringe ah uh, ah uh, dumpster Kim Tit. Listen to this cringe boy crying. What are you yelling about, little man? Where is my mother? Okay, we made it home. Look at this adorable little baby. Where is your mother? Where are all these adorable little black stray cats coming from? And why do I keep collecting them? Even though he's dirty, this is just the most precious little thing. Perfect little man that can be held in the palm of a hand. Okay, I guess the cat gets my bathroom now. Okay, fine, whatever. It's fine, it's fine, whatever, it's fine. I love it. Look at this little thing, I love it. I just hope it knows to use the litter box. Because they're eating together, they're going to be friendly. I don't want to just put them together right off the bat because they might fight and this little guy would definitely win. Just old enough to where I don't really need to bottle feed him anymore, which is super lucky. When you do, it's every four hours on the hour. Also, this guy is not potty trained at all with the litter box, so I'm going to have to keep them both in here. We have two black cats now, just in time for Halloween. Uh-oh, I forgot that I had to use the restroom. <laughs> Excuse me, children. This man was meowing, so I put him in front of the food and now he's eating again. As you can see, there's a little bit of growling going on here. This game this little fella a bath look at all that dirt that was on him look how cringe this animal is that was a surprising amount of dirt for such a small little bean this is how i dry him off see when i do this he doesn't even care look at this look at this precious creature oh don't mind if i do little tupac shakur all right guys here he is i made a little kitten burrito take a look at this gonna massage his ears like this tupac is sleeping with me tonight and biggie smalls is gonna stay in here oh just kidding he escaped reason being though because he needs to learn how to 
use this litter box. This morning I woke up to his little poops under the bed. So I had to deep clean the entire place. Now everything is spick and span and spotless and clean and adorable. Till I see poops in here, he's not coming out. But before bed, I'm just gonna show you guys this is what we're working with. A large bean and a small bean. The Lord has given me a black cat every day till the end of October. We're gonna have 30 by the end of the month. And I do love this little fella, but he sleeps right next to my face and then he'll poop under the bed. Also, I think I'm slightly allergic to cats, at least whenever they sleep right next to my face. So I'm not really about that. But he is very cute. Take a look at this little man. What's funny is they're both the same exact cat. But tonight I'm gonna cuddle up with this little man, get some reading done. Might even fart on him tonight. One thing's for sure though, I did not plan on having two kittens two days ago, but here we are. And I can't say that we're gonna keep them for good because I know that they could kill the baby with their poo. And the last thing we need is the baby dying from toxoplasmosis just because two cringe cats were orphaned. But I'm sure we could find someone to take care of these guys either way. That's it for now though, guys. These two are friends now. I love you. Appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my video. And I'll see you in the- Oh, I almost forgot to talk. Oh!